Hello and welcome to another episode of Blue Alpine TV. In today's episode, we'll talk about NVIDIA's CEO saying that crypto is here to stay and we'll look at Telegram's ICO and how it's currently going. So before we start with the news, let's have a quick look at the market. Actually, we're still going down and we're going down hard. Um, if you look at this price of Bitcoin, it's actually close, very close to the lowest price we've had in the last couple of months. Um, we, as you remember, we bounced back from this 6,600 US dollar price and then it came back to around 10,000 in a couple of days. But now it seems like no end is, is um, in sight. So the prices are generally going down. Our strategy in general stays the same. Use this time to do your research on the coins that you think are interesting and um, based on your research, make, make a move. If you believe in the, fundamental, in the fundamentals of certain coins, these prices uh, shouldn't matter to you. However, um, another thing is that uh, prices can change quite a lot in these coming days so we're still dropping five to ten percent every day so it could very well be that you're buying at a wrong time however if you're investing with a long-term horizon it's not that problematic um, as always this is not investment advice talk to to a financial advisor first before investing now let's jump into this first news story cryptocurrency is here to stay and is the future of our business nvidia ceo jensen huang so Jensen Huang is the NVIDIA CEO and he came um, on the show of uh, Jim Cramer who has uh, this mad money show on CNBC and as you know CNBC is kind of uh, the network when it comes to cryptocurrency news and a lot of people are actually jumping on CNBC to if they have a certain statement and if they are sharing um, certain progress. Now NVIDIA CEO has said because the price has generally been going down we've heard from left and right for example investor uh, thomas lee has also made a statement regarding the bitcoin price and a lot of people are actually coming out and saying um, bitcoin price will be so don't worry about this short term down phase bitcoin price will be back soon to a very good price and we'll see where it goes from there. So Jensen Huang has actually said that cryptocurrency will be here. The ability for the world to have a very low friction, low cost way of exchanging value is going to be here for a long time. He's also saying blockchain is going to be here for a long time and it's going to be a fundamentally new form of computing. I expect blockchain, I expect cryptocurrency to be an important driver for GPUs. Now, don't forget, uh, NVIDIA's business is GPUs or one part is GPUs and um, GPUs are also used in terms of Bitcoin mining for example. There are uh, rumors for example that uh, Bitmain will create um, kind of a Ethereum ASIC miner as well. So you have on one side you have the ASIC miners, you have companies like Bitmain um, who kind of control 70 to 80 percent of the ASIC miner market and on the other side you have companies like Nvidia, like AMD um, who are kind of uh, looking into um, producing GPUs in for, on first place, place for, for gamers obviously but these GPUs have kind of been misused if you will for uh, cryptocurrency mining namely Bitcoin mining. Now with Bitcoin's dropping price obviously on one side the gamers are happy because people are not that interested into mining anymore but on the other side if you're Nvidia you kind of see the um, general demand dropping. Now um, in uh, that being said, I think um, the, the, the statement from, from NVIDIA uh, uh, CEO is, is basically um, saying it's, it's kind of also to cover up um, the potential losses of his company. So it's kind of um, he's trying to um, bring back a general positive attitude to crypto because generally the atmosphere in this bear market is fairly negative. So people are kind of losing interest or even negatively are impacted by cryptocurrency because they have lost a lot of money or the the, the, um, the charts don't go up anymore. So they kind of lose interest. And in order to keep those interests uh, going, uh, the CEO of a company obviously has to make statements like these because that in, in people's minds will say, oh, okay, NVIDIA is, is building something, is innovating on something. So there's a very 
very high chance that uh, the miners, miners will get more efficient. So mining could be one way how to make money, all of these things. So you have to think about where this perspective is coming from. Now, um, it's not. it wasn't only Jensen Huang who came out, it was also um, Thomas Lee. He is uh, one of the investors at Fundstrat and um, he's also quite bullish saying that um, uh, Bitcoin's price will go up, back up to like 20, 25,000, 30,000, something like this um, towards the end of the year. Now, obviously, we never comment generally on, on price predictions. Um, we also believe in the future of Bitcoin. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean that the price will go up towards the end of the year or tomorrow. It could be very well be for a couple of years, be very boring again until the next really uh, bull market hits cryptocurrencies. And our next story is actually quite interesting. So Telegram doubles amount raised in ICO to 1.7 billion US dollar. Now Telegram is kind of a privacy focused uh, but um, closed source messaging application that ha that has around 200 million US um, uh, 200 million users worldwide, um, mainly actually people from Russia, people from Iran um, are using Telegram and and also in the crypto sphere Telegram is quite uh, commonly used. It's quite fast, so it's a it's a good application for people um, to use it now. Um, they have actually announced that they are kind of doing an ICO, but it's currently in private sale. So um, the ICO is, is aimed to raise around 1.2 billion US dollars. Now, why would they do an ICO and not the traditional uh, route? The ICO, they can control count, count kind of better in a, in, a, in a traditional fundraising part where they would get VCs and venture capital, angels, all of these types of investments, they would kind of lose control. Now, when they issue a token, they only give out a token that people can use on the platform. That doesn't mean that they will use any kind of control over the business. Now, Telegram is currently free for all users on all platforms, but obviously um, kind of running an operation like this will cost them multiple million US dollars at least per year, if not per month. The exact numbers are not clear, but um, you have to think about uh, that they have to make money at some point. One way would be to just charge the users, but obviously they don't want to do that right now. So they're kind of doing the, the ICO way. Now, um, in order to be a kind of compliant with SEC, they're do, doing um, a, a kind of, it is here, it's called a token sale, which is based on the simple agreement for future tokens, the SAFT framework. Um, and the, the idea of this uh, SAFT framework is basically to have kind of an ICO that's legal, basically, because the ICO, the SEC stands on, on ICOs is not really clear. So they want to avoid um, getting any legal troubles, any issues with um, that kind of money raising. So they've raised an additional um, uh, to one point, um, no, this uh, they they've they've raised 850 million in late February. Their original target was 1.2 billion, but it looks like they will hit a total of 1.7 billion US dollars raised so far. Now keep in mind, this is a private sale. This isn't a sale where you and me can participate. So this these are really big name investors um, and people and organizations behind this this money. Um, it, it is even rumored that uh, 2.5 uh, billion will be raised in total by Telegram over this, this period. Now, um, how this will continue and for what exactly the Telegram open network uh, coin or token will be used is kind of unclear because the white paper is still not officially out. Um, there is a white paper out, but I think it hasn't been confirmed by Telegram's um, founder, uh, Pavel Durov. He's he even uh, made a statement that it's it's kind of fake. Um, so it's, it's not really clear what exactly or how exactly the network will work. Nonetheless, this will be very, very interesting um, to see. It is probably going to be the biggest ICO in uh, history so far. Um, whether this is a good ICO in general, this remains to be seen. We will see after this whole funding round has been closed. Um, but it is definitely a way for companies that don't want to go the traditional uh, investor route to raise a lot of money. 
Now, this actually brings me to one last news story that we haven't kind of um, touched upon. And this is uh, email service MailChimp set to shut ICO and crypto related marketing down. Now, as you've known, um, we've talked about Facebook and Snapchat and Twitter and um, other companies actually shutting down ICO related advertising, even Google with Google AdWords. Now, uh, MailChimp has jumped on the bandwagon here and is saying that if you're sending emails out that are trying to promote ICOs, you might get blocked by MailChimp. You will get less open rates, less click rates because uh, MailChimp is taking care of blocking these emails. Now, on one side, this kind of makes sense for a company, but on the other side, this is email. And this is normally, um, if you're sending out newsletters, you're allowed to send any kind of news information in those newsletters out. So it's not really in MailChimp's position, uh, in my opinion, to decide and judge on that. Um, that is actually also why we have created a Telegram channel. So it's an open channel. Everyone can join. You will need a link and I will post this link in the show notes for the podcast listeners and in the video description um, for the YouTube uh, viewers. And um, there you can join our public free uh, telegram channel and on the channel we'll talk about uh, research analysis news and all of these things no uh, signals no price predictions none of that stuff so we're going to stay true to our roots we'll, we'll only share research and analysis that we've done so if you want to stay up to date definitely join the telegram group group it's actually the link is is a shortened link you can use bit so bit dot l y slash blue minus alpine so bitly slash blue minus alpine and then you will need the telegram um, messenger app uh, on your computer or on your mobile and then you can join our channel so i'll link this again in the uh, description and the show notes and with that guys we're already at the end of today's episode make sure to like this video subscribe to the channel subscribe to the podcast and i'll see you on the next one take care